Hi, uh, my name's Amelia Lyons. I'm the uh, lead tutor on the clinical uh, supervision program uh, run at Anira and Bevan University Health Board. And I run this program for uh, health professionals. It's a multi-professional program and it goes on for about a year. Now, as part of the resources and development resources for the program, I'm focusing on diversity this year and doing some video interviews with colleagues uh, in an Iron Bevan who may be useful um, for some insight into particular areas. Now, this interview focuses on um, sexual orientation and really how the understanding of it has evolved over the last sort of 25, 30 years, really since I've been working. Um, so there's three parts to these interviews with um, myself and Ollie Gall, who's um, now a senior supervisor and counsellor in the organisation. So part one is that we talk about what we're going to talk about, and we recorded that. And one of the things that I wanted to know was, was I asking the right question? So I wanted to have a sort of pre-interview with Ollie to explore some of the key issues. I was aware that I'm over 60 now and Ollie is just under 30. So we acknowledged that sort of generation gap. Um, and I really wanted to understand what it's like now because I, I know what it was like then, uh, but I don't know what it's like now because I've sort of moved toward the end of my career. Um, so part two, then, is, is um, the first part of the actual interview. And in that, we cover um, some of the key issues. Again, the differences across the generation about understanding sexual orientation. Um, so I talk about my understanding of the, the Kinsey scale, um, gay, bi, straight. And that was kind of the understanding that, that we had uh, when I was um, exploring these areas uh, 30 years ago when I first engaged with counselling. And, and then we look at the key, um, the four sort of key areas that are now sort of more crucial to understanding the kind of queer community to um, quote Ollie, which he uses that as an umbrella term for LGBT uh, and uh, everybody in that sort of community. Uh, and there are four areas, biological sex, uh, sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression. And we talk about those four areas and, and kind of understanding what they actually mean in practice. Um, and I hope that's interesting to the uh, audience um, listening and, and looking at the video. Uh, and he also brings in some personal experiences and stories uh, of um, his uh, experience of being a queer guy at this. Um, uh, and he goes into detail about that um, in relation to his experience of, of, in the health service, for example. Part three then looks at the implications for counselling and supervision. Um, obviously, the course is supervision, so we're mainly focused on supervision here, but inevitably... Uh, areas of counselling and psychotherapy come into that conversation. Um, so I hope this uh, uh, set of interviews is going to be of interest to people who are interested really in queer issues, but perhaps haven't um, really updated themselves, especially my generation, um, in, in their understandings of these key terms and the key debates that are going on in this area at the moment. So I recommend this video. Thank you.